Here's everything we know about Fragpunk, a brand new free-to-play first-person shooter made by Bad Guitar Studios and NetEase. If you want to be updated on anything Fragpunk related, consider hitting the subscribe button with noties on, and don't forget to leave a like down below to see more Fragpunk related videos in your recommended. Also, real quick shout out to my Twitter page, Fragpunk Intel, where you can find the best coverage on Fragpunk news. I already have over 50 posts breaking down the game over there, so if you want to stay updated before my YouTube videos are even posted, go follow me over there. And with all the shameless plugs out the way, let's talk about Fragpunk. Fragpunk is a free-to-play, fast-paced, 5v5, first-person hero shooter featuring cards that bend the rules of the game. With currently over 70 cards to choose from, paired with the 10 lancers with diverse abilities, and 15 guns with some having unique abilities, no game is ever the same. There are currently 4 unnamed maps to choose from, with the main game mode focused around search and destroy. Now with this game releasing sometime next year, they're holding their first closed alpha test this month from the 27th till July 1st. Keep in mind that this test will only be available for the US and Canada. Canada regions, as well as it's currently being for only PC players. Rip my EU console homies till next time. But if you guys want a chance to participate in the closed alpha, click the first link in my description. That will lead you to the official website. Once you're here, click on the big button that says sign up, enter your email in region and submit. And just like that, you have a chance to play in the Frag Punk closed alpha test. And for those who are wondering about system requirements for this game, I'll throw them up real quick. Pause if you need to, but we'll be moving on. As I said earlier, over 70 game changing cards to choose from and as we might not know every card coming to the game, I found 32 of the 70 cards. Via trailer analysis, through their website, I even found some on their Steam page, uh, so yeah, let's talk about them. World Flip seems to flip the entire world around you upside down. Dragon's Breath are incendiary rounds for only shotguns to deal extra fire damage. Chain Reaction is a sniper bullet that stuns enemies if hit or is near the enemy who was hit, causing a stunning chain of reaction. Death's Embrace is used when an enemy drops below 50 HP, a Reaper will kill them and nearby enemies. Luminate Print is one of those cards that have no description, gameplay, or cinematic footage, but from the looks of it, it looks pretty self-explanatory. You can most likely track enemy footprints. Keep in mind moving forward, a lot of cards will be like this, just without descriptions. Blade Master grants you the blaze, allowing you to deflect bullets and melee attacks. And then we have overtime healing bullets and backup supplies, all pretty self-explanatory. Strange Herb spawn special plants, silencing herb, cloaking plant, and bounce mushroom. Big Head is used to make enemies' heads bigger. Headshot Master is used to gain 25% more headshot damage. Close Havoc is used to gain 10% weapon damage to close enemies. Then we have Endless Battle, which looks like Overtime. Don't know if this is a name change or a different card. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Community Health, Quick Start, Medical Error, Offense Defense, and Turtleback. And with the bonus cards with little to no description, but are pretty self-explanatory. Life Save, Maximum Over Health, Enhanced Healing, We Go Now, Bulletproof Doors, Rift Expansion, Swift Resolution, Sight Deletion, Noisy Cremation, Battle Frenzy, Roger Roger, Mass Cheetah, Health Club, and full fire power. And with that said, that's all the cards that I found. Tell me in the comments if there's any that I've missed and let us move on to our next topic. There are currently 10 Lancers as of now, however, two remain unknown. Let's talk about the ones we know so far. Broker, the one we've seen in the trailer with the bazooka. Nitro, I'm pretty sure is the fan favorite despite her having little to no gameplay or screen time in the trailers. She also seems to be hauling some kind of turret with her. Hollow Point is the one we've also seen in the trailer using the sniper. Jaguar is the one we've seen in the extended trailer. His character seems to revolve around lightning or electricity of that matter. Corona had zero screen time in both trailers, however, had some gameplay on the wishlist promo video on Steam. Not gonna lie with you, he looks pretty badass. Zerket is another one of those characters with zero gameplay and zero screen time and she deserves more. Luckily Zephyr made it into the extended trailer using the Blade Master card. And last but not least, Axon. I am beyond hyped to play this character. Now the remaining two Lancers have yet to be revealed, but here's what they look like. The character's profiles look pretty cool. If you guys find out what their names are, feel free to comment them down below because I couldn't find anything. And now, with the moment y'all all been waiting for, our last topic. Ah oh, yes, yes, the gameplay. When I saw the movement in the TTK, I was thrilled. You know what? I'll say it. I'll say it. This game looks like a fun arcadey shooter, despite 
the knuckle dragging dumbass haters who compared this game to fucking friends versus friends. And I've played friends versus friends on the channel and this is looking better. No shade to FEF, you always have a special place in my heart. Point is this game looks good. The UI looks so good to how it responds whenever getting kills in this game. Nothing looks too cluttered, if anything they should add customizable UI options. However, how the game looks versus how the game plays are two different things so my opinion isn't completely formed however my impression of this game remains good. This is not a friends vs friends ripoff nor is this game generic. Just because friends vs friends is a card based shooter and frag punk is also a card based shooter doesn't make frag punk the ripoff. You know what better yet let's compare and contrast. Gameplay, this is Fragpunk and this is Friends vs Friends. User interface, this is Fragpunk and this is Friends vs Friends. Price tag, this is Fragpunk and this is Friends vs Friends. Also, for the people that are calling this game generic, name me five 5v5 card based hero shooters. You know what? Fuck that. Name me five card based shooter games, period. You can't because there's no genre for it besides FPS. The only game you can compare Fragpunk to is Friends vs Friends and Neon White, and surprisingly, even using the same concept, all three executed their ideas differently. Holy shit, it's like we forgot what the words generic and rip off smet for a second. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited to play Frag Punk? Also, if you made it to this part of the video, comment down your Xbox or Steam Gamer tag so when the close alpha drops, I can run it with all y'all. Don't forget to follow Frag Punk Intel on Twitter, not X. And it's been OG Smelly Nuts. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.